uh, um, forced myself out the door today <coughs> um, just to go for a little walk around a local local shopping centre I suppose you could call it it's um I'm stuck here at Plymouth I don't put the auto focus on for this sorry I'm a f there's chocolates chocolate stains from the other day whatever I've got to change it there we go yeah chocolate stains um so anyway yeah I threw myself out in the car uh, to to the POV vlog in the car you'll see it in a minute and uh, did one for Paolo showed the rig in the car where I put the camera beside me good luck with that and um yeah, I had a walk around this little shopping centre that we've got in Plymouth called Plymstock. Quite a few charity shops there. Went in three of them and bought some books. Bought some books. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. But it's something to do. And it's money to a good cause. Um, I can always, I can always, you know, pass them on or sell them. Um, the money that I spent on them, well, I'm not buying alcohol or tobacco am I coming up to three months in a couple of weeks um, it's sad because once you've tasted it smoked drunk never forget it you forget you never forget that high that instant thrill but I can't I can't go back to it because it'll kill me simple as so from it being incredibly unhealthy uh, but anyway, enough of that. Let me show you these. Oh, God, I look tight. Uh, that's another backstory. Let me show you these books. They're in a bag back here. And it's very heavy. Nothing, nothing spectacular. Just as I say, it was up to do. Go for a little walk. Nothing special, just an hour, two minute a little walk. Not even a good luck to charge for it. Some money going to a good cause. And, um, yeah, oh, I'll tell you what I did do. So I bought a record. I normally don't look at the records because I've, again, I've got too many. I've sold loads. Um, but I thought, Oh, I'm going to look at these records, and I found something, something, something really, I looked at it, and I had to do a double take, I thought, is that for real? This is one I've not seen before, ever, or even seen it listed. This is, this is, this is special, this is rare. Here you go, ready, you want to see it? And it's in good condition, very good condition. Sleeve isn't so, but the the record itself is. I have to find out all the details. I'll go to Discogs for that. Actually, if I get my glasses, if I get my glasses, and I can read the the, the record itself. I got um three DKs coming later today, so I'll put them on the desk tonight and go through those. I won't tell you what's coming, what they are. Right, it's a Decca label, of course. Mono. Catalogue number LXT6200. Mm. Many items on this record were taken from the Decca 12 record, record album. Blah, 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 blah. Right, so it's the other one that really should have bought. But I haven't seen it. I don't know where it is. Anyway, here it is. Yes, that's a portrait of him, and that's his signature, Decker, and that's all it is. The front front sleeve. Can you believe it? What a piece, eh? What a piece to find. 
the voice of Winston Churchill. This record was authorized by Sir Winston Churchill. It's got it's got an inner sleeve. It's just a plain inner sleeve. I just show you the, uh, the, the the look. You can see it. It barely needs a clean. No scratch. Not a single scratch. Not a single mark. Immaculate. You wouldn't believe it. Oh, I could get it going freaky there, couldn't I? Into itself, into itself, into itself. Get a feedback, feedback loop. <laughs> I need a mirror for that. Anyway, there we go. See if I can read it. Yeah, there's a few fine scratches I can see. ARL, this is on the run out, etched. ARL 66663K. Yeah, oh, I'll, I'll go, go and look this one up. Yeah, quid. The voice of Winston Churchill. ARL 66651K. I don't reckon it's worth a penny, but um, interesting find. Interesting, very interesting find. Rare find. Yeah, so I bought a record. Yeah. Winston Churchill, how long have we been going? That's seven minutes. That'll do. That'll do for the first look. Yeah. 